Hi guys, it's Mac with 9B4M, the family, and today we're at a beautiful aircraft show. These are some bi-wing planes and some really old historical planes. These were used leading into World War I as trainers and some other great things. But check out this show, you're going to enjoy it. So we're back at this wonderful air show. We've been here, it's our third time. But this time is really special because we have the Littles with us and we have Blair's mom with us as well. This is her first time seeing these beautiful bi-wing aircraft. Look at the cockpit here, beautiful. You know, they're driving it, they're flying it like with it's just this stick. And that's how they're controlling. Oh, really? Yeah. That, that right there? Yeah. yeah. So, it's so really that's the pilot up there? Pilot up there. And, and the co-pilot? Co-pilot would be back here. Oh, okay. Yeah. But can you drive it with just one? Yeah, you could. You could fly oh, with just oh, okay. one. Yeah. Tiger Club. Yeah, Tiger Club. Tiger Club. So it's a lot of aircraft that we've seen before, but it's also a lot of new aircraft. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen that one before. It has more of a, because that's not a bi-wing. Yeah, so this is a this is a bi wing. I don't know which. Oh, that's a, that's a bi wing. Let's circle it around back this way. But here's a new one. I haven't seen this one before. This one is not a bi wing, right? It's a different aircraft here. Yeah. So this is a really, really unique aircraft. I have to look up exactly what this one is. Just, you know, I love this this show because you can you can see how much care goes into taking care of these. This is this is private. People are spending their own time, energy, money, mm -hmm. and resources to maintain these beautiful aircraft. Yeah. Get a burger. Well, this is a really nice. But see, they tell you where to where to step. Like you don't step there. You don't step there. You can only step here. Oh, okay. You step there. And you, that's how you oh, okay. get into the aircraft. Good morning. Yeah. Like don't step on those wings. A lot of these are actually cloth. And yeah, it's like a, just a cloth material. It's not hard at all. Oh my goodness, that's right. Yeah. A lot more fragile than you would think. Almost cut it with a knife. Yeah. Keep this hole what clear? Yeah, keep this hole clear. clear. Maybe that's a speedometer? I'd have to check and see it. Keep this hole clear. And bonding socket. Yeah. All, all kind of instructions there for you. Oh, this looks new. Yeah, this one looks good too, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice color. I like this color. Uh -huh. yeah. This is a leopard moth. Yeah. So this is going to be a de Havilland leopard moth. It has a nice, it's a nice interior, oh. the leather interiors, uh -huh. leather seating. Interior there. Oh dear. Oh, Dang. look at that. It even has a mouth for the cell phone. Oh. <laughs> that's not. That's not original, is it? <laughs> There's a, a leopard moth. That's really nice. Yeah. That has a little bit of space. That's basically enclosed. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, this is, well, this is just a um, space for one. Yeah, I think it's one. Yeah, just yeah. one. Yeah. Just one. A little bit of carry luggage space or you know materials mm -hmm. in the back. You want to put mm -hmm. back there. This is a leopard moth, De Havilland. It's a British company. Yeah, I see that. Um, Edgewell, Middlesex. And, yeah. yeah. Oh. This one is. Awesome. I like this because they have it written on the on the on the vehicle. This is the this is yeah. De Havilland Hornet moth. Yeah. Another pretty bi wing guy craft. Now this one's really pretty. Look at the propeller. Yeah. It's just wood. wood. Yeah, it's yeah. wood. It's oh, a wooden it propeller, wood. yeah. So, wooden propeller. 
it, find it. That's not how you start it up, though, is it? Uh, some of them, yeah, I think. The, I'm not sure if that's how you start this one, but yeah, some of them they do start them. They come out here and they spin that propeller, and that's what gets it going. Oh, okay. Look at that. How many? these flew in. Yeah, no, they all flew in. Oh, everyone the, here. Oh, they all flew in. Everyone here oh. flew in today. These are all operational flying aircraft. Wow. They flew them all in. They flew in. Yeah. Well, yeah, while we were in church, this is another, I'm not sure if this is a tiger moth or a gypsy moth, but here's another one, it's kind of a silver color here. Mm -hmm. Another wooden. Yeah, a nice wooden propeller. Mm -hmm. That's just a nice. That looks a little bit more spacious. A little bit more, yeah, look, you, you can see, you can see two in here. And then here, this is nice. This is, a, this is more open, right? Yeah. You don't get that closed yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, man. That is this is a gypsy moth. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Nice. It yeah. is. It is. So you wouldn't fly this? in rain but no, I mean, day like today would be nice yeah yeah you want to you want to come out you want to come out this on a on a beautiful day like today sunny where do they house them though? they're all housed in different um oh, oh, oh. you know everyone keeps them of their own oh. like you see here where they have the the sheds for storage there right so they all have their own location where they can oh, keep them at okay. yeah bullseye Flew in. Yeah, flew them all in. Wow. And those are the instruments that they use to stay in the air. Bomber jacket he has in there. Yeah. Only 300. Oh, oh, oh. Probably. Now, here's another one I haven't seen before. Oh, this like yeah, this one wasn't here. I've never seen this one before. It's great, you know, come back every year and see something a little different. Jackaroo. Still a bi-wing. I'm just not sure which one it is. Buxton Jackaroo. It's a very unique aircraft. All of the aircraft in here have got the same engine. A gypsy major, four cylinder, fully inverted. They got it. Uh, 100 and, well they vary a bit, between 130 and 145 oh. horsepower. That one's 145, but it's basically the same, the same block same cylinders, slightly different heads. So all, different the same engine. all will have the same Gen, engine. Uh, you said the Moth Major? Yeah, it's engine? a gyp Gypsy Major. Gypsy, gypsy major. major. Built by de Havilland. Yeah. So de Havilland uh, built the airframes and, and their engine manufacturing part. So it's all, all part of de Havilland, was, yeah. but they were called Gypsy and they were Gypsy oh, engines. There. And the Ooh. Mugol, so the red aircraft. Yeah, yeah, that's different. Oh, uh, that, that, that was built as an outright racer. So, okay. Um, um, that's the over here. That uh, well, that's a replica, but uh, a virtually identical aircraft to that, um, flown by uh, I think it was Christian Owen, Alec, Alec Henshaw, flew it from London to Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like in in oh, uh, the, 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 I think the record nearly still stands, and this is in 1935. Flies it down there. That thing does 200 miles an hour, and it's just all fuel. It's just one great big fuel tank and an engine, and, uh, and could yeah. do. I think 2,000 miles per fill-up, wow. drop-in fill-up, and I think he flew down to Cape Town in 24 hours or something like that, wow. and uh, filled up and thought, well, I'll turn on and go back again. And flew back? And flew back. Oh, wow. Didn't even, I don't think he had a night's sleep, you know, sort of, and flew back. Alex Henshaw, he was then a um, 
fighter pilot you know, sort of during the war, but I mean an absolute legend. But that's a Percival Mugol, so so these are all to have and that's built by Percival, but it has a gypsy queen engine, which is a six-cylinder version of these. Okay. These are four-cylinder. That's a six. It's a built by De Havilland, so it's yeah. got its De Havilland connections or whatever. Okay. And uh, but but yeah, so but that's why that that's well, there's they, they, there's one real one in the world. They built about four, but purely for racing. An wow. out an out and out racer. Um, yeah. You know, in the thirties when all they wanted to do is go as fast as they could between the wars, late twenties, early thirties, you know, mid up to the mid thirties before the Second World War, and then they sort of had to start thinking, okay. Let's be sensible about this and build trainers. You know, get yeah. get the air crews trained up. You know, yeah. and Matthew. So I had cake. It was very good. It was a strawberry layer cake with this strawberry icing in the middle. It was, oh, it was awesome. Really liked it. Been a wonderful experience um, being able to see different um, aircraft all made by de Havilland in um, Middlesex, England. Very nice. Step over here, Matthew. You can see it. Come over here. And she's gonna come back across, heading on home. Oh, okay, so she turned. She turned around, and there she goes, heading on home. Wow. Here's the boys, two of them relaxing under the wings of the aircraft. I can't blame them. It's not as hot this year as it was last year, but they're here under the leopard moth, just kind of relaxing. I'm gonna leave them be. They're on here, but we have a few new ones. He said that's called a chipmunk. Oh, this one? It's a chipmunk, yeah. They start flying it, I think, in the, in the 90s. So that's, that's a, that's a bit of knowledge for us. This whole experience is knowledge. But this right here is good because it seats four. I've never seen one that seats four. Yeah. So I've come to this three times, and I've said that a lot, guys, but I really want to highlight the fact of how special this experience is. But this aircraft, this is my first time seeing this. I was told it's called a chipmunk. That's the name of it. And it just has that. You know, if you play video games, uh, if you're playing those old school war video games, this is the aircraft that you're flying. If you know what I'm talking about, then this is the one that you see in a lot of video games. It just, it just, I'm like, this looks so familiar. And that's why I realized I know this from, 
from a lot of video games culture that I played a lot of games over the years. Just a beautiful aircraft. Again, a toad was called a chipmunk. And the kids here, they're all kind of hanging out under the wing of this leopard moth. It's a beautiful day. I can't blame them for sitting in the shade. And so here's how you start it. Takes a bit of energy. Just get up there, grab that propeller. And there you go. You better step back though. You definitely want to step back. And here we have the most unique aircraft out here today. Percival Mew. <laughs> but this is a racing aircraft. You can tell it is sleek. It is enough room for the pilot to fit in here. And that's it, not wasting space. It's a G Heckle. Percival Mew. Goal E 2H. What's that? Looks tight. It's a beautiful aircraft. I love this this coloration. It's red. It's really nice. And then look at that. Look at that wheels. Just to make them more aerodynamic under the bottom. And you can see how beautiful this aircraft is. Drop down in the comments, let me know which one of these aircraft you like the most. We all have our favorites. Some is based on color, some is based on design. Drop down, tell me which one you like, and tell me why. Here's another really nice aircraft. I love the coloration on this one as well. Two-seater, bi-wing aircraft. Lovely. It's navy and old gold. It's beautiful. And again, you're flying aircraft just by this instrumentation here. It's so nice. This has been a wonderful day out with the family. I'm glad to be able to bring you along. We've had a wonderful time. The babies are here, Blair's mom is here. The weather is perfect. It really is lovely. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have, guys. And until next time, take care.